okay uh, they ask what is the probability that no order occurs within 15 minute period no order occurs within a 15 minute period in other words no customer arrives within a fixed time span so in other words i'm trying to digest what is being asked here right order is customer and we have a fixed time period because clearly the probability of no orders arriving within 15 minute time period is different from no orders arriving within a period of one hour which will kind of uh, be less and less likely if the if the um, that particular day the transaction is heavy traffic right so we are given 15 minute and zero orders coming in that has both numbers should have some influence on the probability outcome so when we think about it uh, the orders are arriving arriving if you're standing at the door of this queue system right what is expected in this first part of the question right question a is that if you stand here you should see no transaction coming in like no call happening no ticket appearing whatever is the system of having an order right so no order occurring for as long as 15 minutes for as long as 15 minutes translated into queue system speak it means that no customer arrives within a 15 minute time interval as you stand at the gate and observe no ticket or no order processing item entity floats into the queue system come across you right there's no such thing happening within a period of 15 minutes that that probability is what the question is asking now let me just uh, put side by side uh, p of zero probability of having no customer in the system right p of zero is asking probability of having no customer in the system now what does that mean that is so so a customer if a customer is a c then there is no customer so server is idling queue is empty everything no customer no c inside this box here inside this queue system boundary here so clearly that's very separate from what the question is asking so p0 you can calculate you get a different result furthermore you have to assume whether it is mm1 and G1, you cannot assume because you need a standard deviation and we don't have a relevant value here to assume. So the most you can do is you assume it is MM1 and then you proceed to calculate P0, which is all wrong, all wrong, right? Because you're assuming it's MM when the question doesn't say that. Furthermore, P0 is completely wrong concept to apply uh, in answering what the question wants. The question wants to say, the customers flowing in flowing in once you go inside a customer has only two states currently being served or waiting okay so a customer inside is kind of frozen it's either spending the time being served which is okay or it is uh spending time waiting in either case it is not to say that there is no order right it is not to say that so having no people inside, nobody inside the queue system is talking about different different probability than uh, what this question is talking about. So what this means is, uh, uh, just let me, because another, another analogy just flashed by my mind, and that is for the P0 to work, we might take longer than 15 minutes. For example, we take um, 100 snapshots of the system, okay? We ask Joe a hundred times, right? Over a time period of 10 hours, and that's possible. Just randomly snapshot Joe. Hey, Joe, are you having any orders? Are you having any orders? So when we do that a hundred times and a and, uh, number of times that Joe actually has nothing on hand to process, that count divided by a hundred will give rise to P0. So you see that in real time, the P0 will actually, and most likely will take longer than 15 minutes. But here, this question is asking a physical consecutive block of 15 minutes and no orders happen in between. See, very, very different in nature, right? So then what should we do? So anything that's happening outside the queue system, we will have to use 
uh, basically the uh, Poisson distribution of arrival and say that the probability of exactly zero customers occurring in 15 minute time interval let's go back to the Poisson uh, calculation the formula here gives us the probability of having n number of customers arriving if we apply to the arrival uh, process uh, within time t so time t here capital t is the allocated time interval okay so doing that we just substitute in we get lambda t is 5 because lambda is 20 20 times 1 quarter that's 5 so we substitute in the calculation and get a number like this and then we can do the same to answer the rest of the questions exactly three customers more than six customers are received so just mechanically plugging in we get these numbers uh so so suppose john said uh, joe says i would like a short break because it's been so busy in the in the morning i'll just take 15 minutes break i'll come back in 15 minutes time i bet that there will be no one calling so don't call me is he likely to be right is joe likely to be right to take a 15 minute break and assume or expect that no one no no one will be will will need his service well uh, according to our calculations a call will arrive a customer will arrive uh within oh sorry no customer will arrive within a time period of 15 minutes with a probability of very very small number which means it is unlikely that there is no one so so probability of at least one or more customers arriving within 15 minute time interval is one minus this so it's 0 0.9933 so very very high chance so how about three customers very very busy well uh, some likelihood six or more customers even higher so 23.8 percent okay so uh, we're using the probabilities to help joe make a decision as to whether he can take a short break or not so all these, of course, can happen in other contexts, but uh, just taking this example to clarify how we should interpret the question and when and how we should apply the Poisson probability directly versus the use of P of N formula from the Q, Qing theory formulas.